Hello everyone, a very good evening to all of you and in this video we will discuss a poem. It is a love poem written by Pablo Neruda and the poem title is Tonight I Can Write. Okay. Uh, the poem Tonight I Can Write, it is written by a Chilean poet, diplomat and politician Pablo Neruda. And through this poem, the poet has tried to depict his melancholic love story that has never seen its destination. Means their love story was never completed. They were never finally met or met and they had never able to live together forever. Okay, that's why it is a kind of uh, breakup poem or it is kind of tragedy. Okay, And it was published in 1924. And it was pub, uh, translated from the original language written by the Pablo Neruda, maybe Spanish, I'm not sure. And you can check this out if you are curious. And actually, uh, since the breakup, the speaker of the poem or the poet himself has not been able to recover from its pain and suffering. Okay, When breakup occurs or when separation is done, then it is obvious that it takes time to recover from that pain, right? Uh, so that is the thing the writer has felt himself. And through this poem, he has tried to pour his emotion, feeling uh, through the poetic lines. And uh, the poet or the speaker, he keeps on remembering his lost love or his uh, ex-girlfriend. Okay, And uh, at the beginning of the poem, Tonight I Can Write, the saddest lines, the speaker elucidates that tonight is the night. Okay, Tonight is the night he can write the saddest lines after a long time since their breakup or since their separation. Okay, And because Tonight is utterly shattered and the blue stars have been shivering in the distance. That's why this is the perfect night for the speaker or for the writer to write a series lines about his life or about his love story. Okay. Meanwhile, the writer says that this night, in this night or tonight, the wind is also revolving and singing in the sky. That's why this is the best night for him to write the series lines about his life, about his love through poetic lines. Furthermore, the speaker depicts that he loved her and sometimes she to love him back when they were together. And then the speaker recalls that through, through night like this, uh, through night like this one, he held her in his arms and kissed her again and again under the endless sky in, when they were together uh, in the past. But now the poet is lonely, he is heartbroken and he, he is uh, utterly nostalgic. He is Remembering his old days, his his time with his ex-lover, beloved. And the poet said that he was compelled to love her or love her, his beloved due to her great still eyes. She had a very still eyes, beautiful eyes, which compelled the poet to love her. And the poet said that um, he was uh, very disturbed after losing her. In addition to that, his feelings of losing his beloved still disturbs him. Moreover, he also regrets losing her. Now the poet contemplates that the reason behind their separation and tragedy means why they could not stay together. What was the re reason behind their breakup or separation? And her absence is uh, disturbing the poet immensely. And at this point of time, the poet is unable to think and act. Even singing is not helping him to recover from this heartbreak. The poet's soul is completely not satisfied. His sight, it searches for her and want to go to her. The poet uh, wants to meet uh, his ex-lover. Though the poet reiterates that he no longer loves her. So the poet here also man mentions that, but now as uh, time has changed and many times have already been passed. So it feels that I do not love her anymore. That kind of thing that the poet says, but still the poet says that her love, her uh, some time with her, that still haunts him, that still disturbs him. And now the poet wants to meet her, want to talk to her. Though the poet reiterates that he no longer loves her, but how the poet had loved her, how the poet had loved her when they were together, it still haunted him. It still um, keeps on uh, remembering him, how uh, the poet had loved her, in what way, how they uh, had done things, that kind of thing. And the poet's voice tried to find the wind. So to, to touch her ex beloved's hearing or, or sound, then the poet imagines that by now she will be another. She may have engaged with someone or somebody or she may have been settled down with someone. And now she, uh, it, it, it can be po possible that she is now with someone and she has uh, some children with them, uh, sorry, with that person. So that kind of thing the poet now imagines. So the poet says that it is utterly futile to think about her, but still the poet is forced to remember her, the poet is saying like that. Then the poet says that still the poet misses her terribly. 
every day the point B says her terribly badly, especially her voice, how she speaks, and her bright body and her infinite eyes. They all think the point misses every day. The point says, but uh, the point says that now it, it is useless. It is futile to re- remember her. But still, the point says that now I have no other option. But uh, I have uh, mem- memories of her, uh, and that is keeping me alive. That kind of thing. The point says. However, the point is in confusion now. But the point says that uh, have I uh, means am I really missing her or have I uh, already forgotten her or uh, what? That kind of thing now. Uh, that kind of circumstances is. Uh, creating for the point now. So the point says that I'm in a confusion that I may love her or he may love her or uh, she may love him. So that kind of thing, the point is. And then the point ends the point with uh, love is so short, forgetting is so long. So this is the best line I think about love, right? So when you, means love can happen in a second and it can last for a lifetime. Means you cannot uh, forget that moment for your from your lifetime. And uh, But uh, that when uh, you love someone or um, when you fall in love with someone that may take only one minute or one second but that that love you you cannot forget your whole life that the point says that love is so short that's why for, forgetting is so long okay it can take one second to fall in love with someone but it will uh, means uh, one life is not uh, enough to forget that person or you cannot forget that person your whole life so that's the power of love the point says and uh, this is not the last line, but uh, uh, this is one of the last line. Means before the last line, this line was said by the point in the point, and that's it. This line, love is so short, forgetting so long. This is the main cr- um, crux of this uh, point, and I hope you have understood this point. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope you will uh, go go through the poem yourself. You will explore research about this poem. Don't take this video as uh, sole video for your exam. Don't take this as granted. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye bye.